Do you know continuous beams are subjected to sagging as well as hogging moments? Sagging moments are concave downwards and hogging moments are concave upwards. In this lecture, I will solve a practical examples related to continuous beams using S-Frame, which is a powerful structure analysis and design software. I'll be comparing the results with theoretical solutions as well. Hey friends, if you're new here, I am Dr. Javed Qureshi, a senior lecturer at a London University. On this channel, we explore technical and human skills to help us lead more productive, happy and examine life. In this lecture, I will be solving a continuous beam in S-Frame software. These are the approximate solutions which I have obtained from Structures Engineer's Pocket Book. Moment distribution method or finite element method can be used to solve these examples and find out its shear force and bending moment diagram. But here I'll be using approximate analysis and we will see that how does it compare with S-Frame software. Out of these three problems, I will be solving the middle one. Here I'm assuming W, small w, is equal to 10 kN per meter. Capital W is equal to W times small w times L, which is equal to 10 times 10. I'm assuming length to be 10 meters. So this will give me 100 kN. Reaction will be coefficient into 100. Moment is equal to coefficient times W times L. W is 100 and L is 10. It will be coefficient times 1000. In that way, I will have 40 kN here as reaction, 110 here, 110 kN here and 40 kN. In hogging moment, I will have 100 kN meter and here I will have 80 kN meter and sagging moment here will be 25 kN meter. Let's now see how we can solve it in S-Frame software and let's compare the results afterwards. Starting the software, first step is I will start with new two-dimensional. I will name it as any beam and then next, 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 next. I will start from scratch and that way I'll be able to do it really properly finish the first thing that i want to do is to start the grid and i want to have a one meter grid click ok and then zoom to extent i'm able to see the entire grid let's start with defining the geometry first the geometry member definition tool and i will use this one joint and i want a member in plus x direction so 10 meters in that way simply i will click here click here and click here it will give me three spans second step is to define the boundary conditions so here boundary conditions i have simple supports at all four supports so simply i will click on this click on here and click on here then i will define the material material i'm using a steel so let's use eurocode 3 steel and and after that i will define a section so section properties tool i will just simply right click on the section and then go to steel and i want to define a ukb section so let's define 406 178 67 ukb click ok and close this section has been assigned to the continuous beam after the section has been assigned then i will go to loads simply go to global load full uniform i will say minus 10 because i want a downward load minus 10 click or click here click here and click here load has been applied once the load has been applied this is ready for analysis now so go to analysis click all right save the changes so simply say c beam save a clean solution now i'm ready to view the results deflections and reactions tools you can see reaction at middle support was 110 and at the ends it was 40 it's pretty much similar to our approximations then we will go to shear diagram we'll go to moment diagram i want to see the moments go to options diagrams and then display numerical values in that way i'll be able to see the values if i right click on this i'll be able to see you can see sagging moment is 25 and hogging is 100 and here if i click here 
sagging here i have sagging moment as 80 and hogging moment as 100 this is really pretty much similar to what we got from our approximate solution now our approximate solution we had this 25 sagging moment in 80 and 80 at the outer spans and in hogging moment we had 100 so it's pretty much similar to what we got over here if i double click on this you'll be able to see the sagging moment as 80 and hogging moment as 99.7 which is about 100 and if i double click on here you can see that the hogging moment is still 100 but the second one is less it is 25 so the results are exactly similar to what we got from approximate analysis s frame is a very powerful tool in terms of modeling any structure but i am starting with a very simple modeling